Hi, today I'm going to show you a really simple and easy technique to paint sparkling light on glass in today's Message in a Bottle Seascape. I'm using a fan brush to blend together my sunset colours for the sky. The cerulean blue does look very vibrant and bright to begin with. Once we start blending it and mixing it with our light pink, it will become much more subtle. I haven't used any mediums today, but if you did want to buy yourself a little more time when it comes to mixing your sky colours, you can add a little bit of retarder or slow dry medium and this will keep the paint wetter for longer. Now we can start mixing our colours for the ocean. I'm going to make the horizon line quite dark so I'm using my permanent rose, a little cadmium red and some cerulean blue and you can also add a little bit of black too if you need it. If it's easier for you, you can definitely block off the horizon line with masking tape again to get a nice straight edge. I haven't because I wanted it to be nice and soft and I'm going to blend it with a mop brush just to soften it and blur it a little. And now we can have some fun using all of our sunset colours to paint the ocean. It's going to be very loose and slightly abstract, so don't worry about it too much, just enjoy using the colours. If you make it a little too dark or a little too light, you can come back over the top with a different colour and just gently blend it in. To soften and slightly blur the colours together, I'm using the back of my flat brush to just gently and lightly sweep across the top of the paint. We can add the sun now using a small round brush and start on our reflections on the water. I played around with the colours for a little while for this section because I wanted to get in those really nice oranges and yellow warm colours but I also wanted it to be light enough so it stood out and popped a little. So just keep working on it, have a little play with the colours until you get a look that you like.
I sketched out a drawing of my bottle earlier and I'm now going to trace it onto the canvas. I've also put a link in the description for a free traceable if you'd like to use it. We'll start off by blocking out the black and really dark areas and then we'll start adding a light and building up the structure of the bottle. I've made a really nice lilac colour using cerulean blue, permanent rose and a little white. There isn't too much water on the brush, it's quite dry and I'm using this colour to build up the curve around the bottle. Because the paint's dry you can still see through it a little bit here and there. The next step is to block out where the light and light reflections are going to be. I'm using white paint with a tiny bit of cadmium yellow and cadmium orange here and there. add some really nice sparkles I'm just using the tip of the brush and dabbing on my cadmium orange cadmium yellow and also a much lighter version of it by adding white by doing little dots and flicks here and there you can really create that sparkling light effect
here are the paints and colours that I've used today. And if you'd like to learn more about acrylic painting and pick up some more tips and hints, you can try watching one of these videos here. See you next time.